guys, so I'm starting out with the Models Own Mattifying Face Primer, just applying that all over my skin. And then for foundation, I'm using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm in the shade Buff, so I'm just kind of dribbling some of that and then blending it out with a Sigma Angled Kabuki. Then I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. I thought this was going to be dark enough to kind of contour my face, but I was wrong. So this step is completely kind of unnecessary, but you know, you live and you learn. I'm then going in with the shade Light Sand in the same concealer, and I'm just using this under my eyes and all down the center of my face to act as a highlight. And I'm blending everything out using the Sigma F79. Then to set the concealed areas, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Powder. So I'm taking a Sigma F35 to set the under eyes, the eyelids, and a little bit of the center of the face. And then I'm dipping into a bigger brush and just covering kind of the rest of my face. Then I'm taking the MAC Bronzing Powder in the shade Bronze and I'm using a Sigma F05 to kind of carve out my cheekbones and add some color and definition all around the outer perimeters of my face and just under my bottom lip, under my jawbone and the sides of my nose. Then I'm just going back in with my foundation brush and making sure I have seamless edges. Then for blush, I'm taking the Balm Hot Mama blush, I think this one is and I'm just applying that to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm taking the Huda Beauty highlighter palette. I forget the name of it, but I'll have it listed down below. I'm just mixing the golden and the whitish kind of shades together and highlighting all of the high points of my face. Then I'm just setting everything down with some Fix Plus in pink light. And moving on to the eyes, I'm using Makeup Geek shadows. So I'm taking Peach Smoothie to start off with on an E40 and just buffing that messily all around the eyes. Then I'm taking the shade Frappe which is a little bit of a deeper brown and I'm using the same brush just starting to buff this into the crease and underneath the lower lash line and I'm bringing it all the way into the inner corner. Then I'm taking the shade Chickadee which is this beautiful yellowy orange shade and I'm kind of doing the same thing just buffing that kind of messily all over up in the crease. Then I'm taking Coco Bear on a Sigma E25 which is a bit more precise and I'm building this up in the outer corner and then slowly bringing it into the crease and like into the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm taking the shade Cherry Cola and I'm just doing the same kind of thing just building this shade intensity up and really buffing everything out kind of building up the most intensity in the outer corner. Then I just go back in with my E40 and make sure those edges are nice and blended. Then I'm picking up the shade, I'm pretty sure it's called Morocco, but it will as well be linked down below. And I'm just doing the same thing with the E40, just adding a bit more of an orangey base to the eyes. And then just going back in with my E25 and kind of building up a little bit more cherry cola in the outer corner and through the crease. Then I'm picking up Corrupt on a F63 brush and I'm just starting to build this up in the outer corner as well and then bring it underneath the lower lash line and then in between I just make sure I go back in with the E40 and blend out those edges. Then just going back in again and blending, blending, blending because we want everything to be soft. Then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape once again and I am using an F70 brush and I'm just cutting the crease and then going in with the shade Mirage which is a matte bone colour and I'm just packing that onto the lid and then taking my E25 and making sure that the light shade blends in with all my browns. Then I just picked up a little bit more of the Corrupt shade, which is the black, and I use the F63 again to kind of build that up in the outer corner. And then just back in with my E25 and no additional product, I blended those edges. 
Then I'm just taking an E36 brush, which is a tiny little blender brush, and I'm taking a little bit more Corrupt, and I just kind of blended that through the crease. Then I'm taking the shade Nylon from MAC, and I'm highlighting my inner corners. Then I'm just going in with a black liquid liner pen. This one's just from Models Prefer, and I'm just doing a really skinny line along my lash line, just to make sure my lash band blends well. Then I'm taking my Sigma Longwear Liner Pencil and popping that in my tight line. And then for mascara, I'm using the MAC Bold and Bad Lash, so I'm coating the top lashes using the big mascara wand. And then I'm taking the Kiss Lashes, I forget if they're peony, they will be listed down below, of course. And then I'm taking this bronze eyeliner pencil from the brand Rimmel and popping that in my waterline. Then just finishing off the eyes with a coat of lower lash mascara using the skinny wand. And then for lips, which is the star of the show, I'm using MAC Ruby Woo lip pencil and lipstick. So I lined my lips completely and then I went in and filled them in with the lipstick and my goodness does this last a long time on your lips. And it's so beautiful. I'm obsessed. And that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.